Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Assemblymember Bonnie Lowenthal, who represents the 54th District. She joins us to talk about Governor Schwarzenegger 2010-2011 budget proposal and its potential impact on seniors. Nice to have you with us, Assemblymember. Great to be happy here. Happy New again. Year. Thank you. Well, <laughs> we're the not, races. <laughs> not too happy about the budget. But. Will you speak for a moment? Obviously, this is just the budget proposal when the governor lays out his thoughts and basically a baseline of where to start from. What was your reaction when he laid out this proposal? Well, frankly, because I chair aging and long term care, it was devastating. It was bad enough last year when we cut back things like adult day health care from five days to three days. Mm -hmm. And last year when we lowered the amount that individuals get for their supplemental social security income. But um, now he is wanting to cut some of these programs entirely. So he would cut the SSI, SSP back from 845 to 830, $830 a month for an individual elderly mm -hmm. or disabled person to live on, you and I know that's not enough. Well, it's not I much mean, money to live know, on in general. It's the choice of rent or food for folks like that. Mm -hmm. And the adult day health care that has 45,000 people in the state of California at any one time getting something very important out of those programs, and those would be eliminated. Those are folks with Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. folks with certain disabilities who need that socialization and support and in I a guess safe who, place But those two who support them, it gives them a bit of a break too, doesn't it? Oh, sure, because those yeah. people can still continue to work. They can go to work while they're Or they can just take care of their own lives. Exactly. exactly. So how do you... So how, it's, it's pretty devastating. And yet what do we I do represent. here when I guess the last report that I read was over the next two years, and again, you know, this is forecast, but the states collectively over the next two years may have budget deficits of $350 billion. The economy is just really hurt states and they're they're out of money and they're just saying where do we find the funds to do these you know I, I can't speak for the rest of the states we had right. a glimmer of hope this week in the ports of LA and Long right, Beach where they had their traffic we was up. actually had some right. um, imports up a couple of percent Exports and that really right. means a lot I think that's an indicator that the economy is beginning to turn around mm -hmm. not as quickly as we'd like so um, that's a source of revenue you know revenue yes ultimately it's all about what people want to spend in the store they go to the mm -hmm. store they spend it people make money businesses make money they pay taxes it goes back to the state so we're very hopeful that during the course of this year there'll be a turnaround but in the meantime we do need other revenues to sustain these programs. So where do we find that revenue, do you think? What sources do we go to now? A lot of people say we're tapped out. We've got a high state income tax rate. We have a high sales tax rate. We measure our help is helping us get things like the gold line going. On the other hand, it's a higher tax rate. You know, how do you make those trade-offs? Right, while well, people are struggling. Um, one of the proposals that has been kicking around the Capitol for a couple of years, and it's back this year, mm -hmm is an oil extraction right. tax. And there are two possible ways to go. One of them goes to uh, higher education, which has been decimated as mm -hmm. well by this downturn, which, by the way, Tracy, please remember, Sacramento did not cause the economic mm -hmm. meltdown in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's happened to us, it's happened to all of us. So one proposal would go right to higher education mm -hmm. to support UC, CSU. The other proposal for an oil extraction tax would go to the general fund to be used for programs uh, like the ones I just So there's, it sounds like there are some ideas that were there before, weren't accepted, now they're back on the table again. We're hoping. All right. yes. Well, we definitely need some extra revenues here, don't we, we to fund do. some of these programs. We do. Right. If anyone want, has ideas, please call <laughs> me. I'm right. open. Thank you so much for your time. Hope okay. I have a good year with you. Thank you. For Charter Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young. I'm back to CNN HLN.